I've been treating patients with both lip flips and lip filler for several years. I'm personally a big fan of lip flips. I've been doing them on myself for 10 plus years. A lip flip for some can really make a beautiful difference to where they won't desire lip filler anymore because the lip flip has done so much to enhance their look. But lip flips have limitations depending on the type of lips that you have. So I'm gonna help you decide which treatment may work best for you based on the type of lips you have and how they behave in motion. I'll show you exactly how each treatment is done. We'll look at these two patients that I treated with both lip flips first, then lip filler, so you can see exactly what each treatment did. I'll tell you the pros and cons of each treatment. So how's a lip flip done? A lip flip flips and enhances the upper lip cupid's bow area, making it look fuller by using neuromodulators like Botox to weaken the muscle surrounding your lips. It's a very, very quick procedure compared to lip filler. Because a lip flip is done with neuromodulators like Botox or Dysport, it's measured in units. Lip flips can do a number of different things. So here are all the pros. It works on the muscle, so nothing actually goes into the lips. So zero filler is needed. Another beneficial thing it does is it helps keep your upper lip everted or flipped out when you smile. For those who lose their upper lip when they smile, as in this instance, it can also help lessen the gummy smile and it helps soften upper lip wrinkles or smoker's lines. The best part is that there's no downtime or recovery. There's hardly ever any bruising with lip flips. It's significantly cheaper compared to other areas of Botox and compared to lip filler, but it doesn't last as long. And if you wanna go more in depth with learning about the lip flip, make sure you watch this video after. Cons. Some people don't like the weakening feeling. It can be harder to whistle, hold mouthwash. If you do activities like scuba dive or snorkel, or if you play a musical instrument, this treatment may not be a good option for you. I always tell people though, try the lip flip at least twice. It does sometimes take some getting used to that weakening feeling. Of course, you wanna make sure that you have proper muscle function to this area. But despite this, I've had some patients who would just say to me, I just don't like that weakening feeling. And if that's the case, don't worry. The weakening feeling doesn't usually last long. It usually doesn't last longer than a week or two. Lip flips are not immediate. They do take about a week to take effect, two weeks to see full effects. It doesn't enhance the lower lip, just the upper lip. But with that being said, a lot of the beauty of lips happen in the upper lip, especially in this cupid's bow area, which is what lip flips work on. A lip flip is not a substitute for lip filler. It cannot enlarge and enhance your lips the way that lip filler can. So let's discuss lip filler. Lip filler fills tissue and enlarges your lips. The type of lip filler that's used in lips is made of hyaluronic acid. Filler is measured in volume or by syringe. One syringe is equal to one milliliter, but lip enhancements can be done with less than a full syringe or less than one milliliter. The biggest pro of getting lip filler is that it can give you way more of an enhancement. There really is no comparison to the enhancement that lip filler can give you versus the lip flip because you're actually enlarging the lip tissue instead of working on the muscle. So you can take your results to the next level. Another pro is that lip filler results are immediate. If you don't like lip filler, you can dissolve it using the enzyme that dissolves hyaluronic acid, which is called hyaluronidase. Let's talk about the cons. If you want natural looking results, it is integral that you find the right injector. There are so many reasons as to why migration and over injection happens. And if you want to learn how to prevent this from happening, you have to watch this video after. Bruising is possible and there really is no way someone can tell you that you won't bruise. It's always possible no matter who's doing the injection. Swelling is expected. And usually if you have natural looking results, swelling will last around two to three days. Some people love the swelling because their lips look larger but sometimes swelling is scary because the lips can look like they've obviously been injected lip filler can also come with more possible complications like vascular occlusion which can happen if filler accidentally got injected into a vessel so there are definitely more possible complications that can happen from lip filler versus a lip flip now let's see what both these treatments can do tell me what makes you want the lip I want the lip flip because usually I overline my lips to a massive extent when I put on makeup. And I do this even when I step out of the house for two seconds without makeup on. And I've noticed over time that the way that it accentuates my pout brings and pulls my face together in such a beautiful way and I look different. So if I could mitigate putting on so much lip liner and have a more natural look and have my lip and my pout and my top lip specifically stand out the way that I've always drawn it on, 
then I feel like my, it would just make my life easier, the efficiency of it. But then also, you know, you don't have to like worry about when you go to dinner, like constantly reapplying lipstick, lip liner to have that look. What made you decide to go with a lip flip versus a lip filler? I decided to go with the lip flip first because it's a more natural look overall. And any person that I've ever seen that's gotten a lip flip done or I look at just the patient photos, I really liked how it looked. Like it was very subtle yet stood out and you could tell there was a difference, but if you weren't looking for it, it's not something that's so blatant and obvious. And I like that a lot. So I really just like that it's natural. This lovely patient has a fairly full lip size, but as you can see, her upper lip inverts or flips in when she smiles. So in this case, I think she'd be a great candidate for a lip flip because it'll prevent her upper lip from flipping in when she smiles and make it look fuller. We did eight units of Botox, and as discussed in the Botox lip flip video, it's so important that we customize the amount of units to the person's lip size because if you do too little, there won't be a result. If you do too much, they won't have proper muscle function. Um, all right, so what did you think of the lip flip? I think it's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. um, it did take a couple of days to set in, and I yeah. think that the only thing that I would tell people is like the numbness that mm -hmm. happens of the top lip while it's relaxing. Mm -hmm. Once that sets into place and you get used to that new position, I think it's flawless. Okay, so how do you feel about, I know you mentioned before that you had to kind of overline your lips. Like, what do you think with the lip flip now? Um, after it's set into place, I really love it. I don't feel like I have to use lip liner to pronounce my top lip as much as I used to. It's just there naturally all day. I don't have to worry about the makeup coming off and that's exactly what I wanted to achieve. All right, so why don't we look at the photos and see okay, before perfect. and after. Okay. So these are her results from the lip flip, and as you can see, it enhanced her upper lip. I would say it made quite a difference, and it also stopped her upper lip from inverting when she smiles. So do you still think that you want to do lip filler? I feel like I love the way that my lip is now on the mm -hmm. top. If I was going to proceed with lip filler, it'd mm -hmm. maybe just be a little bit on the bottom. Okay. I feel like the lip flip definitely achieved the look that I was going for. Okay, cool. So we proceeded with lip filler, but only to her lower lip, and I used less than a half of a syringe. Yes. Wait, this is like perfect. I love this. So these are results from filler to her lower lip, and now she has that definition to the lower lip that she was looking for. We used a partial syringe since we were only treating her lower lip. So here she is before anything, after the lip flip, and after a partial syringe of filler to her lower lip. So here's another patient who has a smaller lip size than the other patient, and the difference in lip size may not be too apparent on the frontal view. But the lips are three-dimensional, so when you look from the side, you can appreciate the difference in thickness between these two patients. However, although she has a smaller lip size, her lips do not invert upon smiling like the previous patient. Because she has a smaller lip size, we did six units. In most cases, the smaller the lips, the less amount of units. Now, here are her results, and as you can see, it doesn't make as much of a difference as it did in the previous patient and yes maybe we could have gone up to seven units but I feel six was a good start for her lip size also I didn't want to do too much for her because that means more of the weakening feeling and as you can see it did something because it did soften her upper lip lines when she pursed I always ask people did you feel the weakening and if they didn't feel it then we didn't do enough units but in this case she did indeed feel the weakening but because she has a small lip size and she doesn't invert upon smile and she doesn't have a gummy smile, she can really benefit more from lip filler because it'll give her more of an enhancement than a lip flip can. So we did her lip filler and I used close to a full syringe, but not a full one milliliter syringe. And these are her results. And as you can see, this did give her more volume and more of an enhancement than the lip flip did. So should you get a lip flip, lip filler, or both? In order to help you decide if you're a good candidate for lip filler, I developed a lip fullness scale. Here we have very thin, thin, moderately thick, thick, and very thick. If you have thinner lips, anywhere from type one to type two, and maybe even type three, moderately thick, you're likely a good candidate for lip filler because it can probably give you more of an enhancement than a lip flip can. However, if you have lips of any thickness, type one, very thin to type five, very thick, and your lips hide or invert when you smile, or if you get a gummy smile, you can definitely benefit from a lip flip 
even if you get lip filler. Why? Because again, the lip flip works on the muscle and can help prevent your lips from disappearing when you smile and it can lessen the gummy smile. Most of the time, my patients with type one and type two, very thin to thin lips who start out with lip flips, almost always move on to lip filler once they become more comfortable. If you have type four or type five, thick to very thick lips, you're probably able to just get away with a lip flip and no filler. And most of my patients with these fuller lip sizes are happy with just lip flips. I always tell people, try a lip flip first. It's very fast, it's a very low risk procedure, it doesn't cost that much compared to other injectable treatments, and if you want more of an enhancement, you can always move on to filler, like in the case of the first patient that we saw. But if you think that you can never, ever benefit from getting lip filler, you have to watch this video because it'll likely change your mind.